Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to fetch and submit an exercise from exorcism.io. If you would like to find out what exorcism.io is, just visit exorcism.io in your browser and read all about it in the help section. So I already have a directory created for exercises and I have checked out I have downloaded a binary for executing commands uh, it's a command line client that has versions for Linux and Windows and even source so the command line client here is called exorcism.io exorcism.exe and once we execute the fetch command it downloads all of these directories into the same directory so uh, this is currently the list of all supported languages that uh, exorcism.io supports um, so after we do the fetch uh, it downloads all these different directories so let's look at in the Haskell in the Haskell directory or let's look at the Python directory first because I didn't touch Python so it downloads some kind of exercise called Bob if you open this up in in Haskell uh, in uh, Emacs this Bob has a readme file and a bob test so the readme file usually is <coughs> just telling you what the exercise is all about so here bob is some kind of a teenager uh, he answers a certain way if you ask him a question he answers in another way if you yell at him and basically the readme file just says to you how the program should function now Another nice thing that they have done here is they created a test for each of the exercises. So if you're writing a Python program, all you have to do is write this module, Bob, that provides the functionality that will be tested in this essentially unit test. So here, Bob.hey, given this input, should return this output. So let's take a look at at the uh, Haskell example because I already have completed a few questions there. Let's look at the same Bob test in Haskell. So you can see it's using H unit test unit test framework instead. And what's nice about this is that the tests are all Haskell specific. So here I'll bring up my solution. In this case, what we had to write was a module with a single function that takes this input a string and returns a string. So the way we can test that this is working is navigate into a Haskell directory, go into a, our exercise, and just run the test. So as you can see there are no failures, all the tests have passed and what we can do now is submit this exercise to exorcism.io as a solution. So the way we do it is go up to where our exorcism binary is and just submit the actual solution so bob.hs so once you press enter here um, it will send I'm sorry I forgot submit exorcism submit um, it will send this exercise to the server in this case I have already sent it to the server so it detected that there is a duplicate um, 
So I'm going to show you how the exercise looks once it's submitted to the server. Here is my exercises. And since this was an old exercise, it's going to be under my completed exercises. And I'll explain the difference between completed and current afterwards. But let's look at the Bob exercise. So here is the exercise that I was I just submitted, right? So you can see that it's exactly the same thing as in my solution. So the the way this works is after you submit the exercise, people have the ability to make comments on it. Here is on this side you can write little comments here and after you get some comments you revise your code and then submit it again in this case you can see that I have two iterations already that I did and let's look at my first iteration here was my first iteration and somebody pointed out that uh, I don't need certain parentheses here for example right and what I did is I revised my code and submitted a new version and that person said the code looks great at this point I just closed the exercise and after you close the exercise you can no longer receive any comments on it so I'm going to let me show you an exercise that is not closed for example this leap exercise and it has this button that you can say okay I'm done I don't want more feedback after which it becomes closed so now you can see the difference between exercises that you still have open and completed exercises now, now the neat thing about this uh, service is that when you are doing your exercises you can type exorcism.fetch and it will fetch a new exercise for you so here is in this case it fetched new exercise called ETL that I didn't have before and if you type fetch again it will not give you any more exercises until you completed this exercise so it it kind of gives you one exercise at a time and forces you to complete those ones first um, what's what's also neat is that it's up to you to stop anytime you want so let's say uh, let's look at this exercise here you can see that I had four uh, three iterations on this exercise and I stopped as soon as I was satisfied that the solution was adequate yeah, let's compare my first iteration of the exercise you can see how long the solution is and the last iteration is quite a bit shorter so this service is really useful for learning the language uh, the idiomatic way of programming in a language the exercises themselves are not that hard uh, you can in fact all of these could be solved really easily in a, with a simple if and for loop statements but solving them in the idiom idiomatic approach let's say in the language of your choice let's say in Haskell if you are new to that language it greatly helps if you have somebody who is experienced giving you comments to help you along to understand the language itself so for example here is one of the exercises I submitted and you can see my answer on the left and you can see a conversation on the right that people are pointing out what's wrong with the solution and after you revise it you continue to get feedback 
and finally the last iteration is when you and everybody else is happy finally don't forget that once you're done with the exercises you can then submit feedback to other people and that's available from I believe your account no that's available from the home page so uh, it says go and help this person by providing them feedback and you can click here look at their solution see if they did something wrong and say I think you did uh, x something extra etc etc or you can just click looks great to say that the code looks great to you anyways that was a short introduction to exorcism.io I hope it was helpful good luck